What do you remember that was exciting about your year as master? One of the things I did want to do for the lodge or get the lodge to do was have a flagpole lighted outside, so I did get that done. That's about the biggest thing I got done my year as a master. Other than that, just trying to keep the lodge going, trying to keep the brethren and what they needed to do and what I needed to do was a handful. I think we got it done pretty good. Let's see, my secretary, that's first year Rick Patton was secretary, he secretaried for me. So that's when he started his big career. <laughs> uh, the treasurer was, I'm trying to think, I think it was Jim Hellgreen, if I'm not mistaken, Jim Hellgreen was treasurer, I'm not positive. The offers behind me I can't remember because it's been a minute or two since I was up there. But it was, it, we had a good year. We, we enjoyed it. The lodge is progressing pretty good. I would like to see that the officers go back to the old ritual of if you're in the steward's chair, you're learning and know that junior deacons. If you're in the junior deacons chair, you're learning and know the senior deacon and like that. And that way, whenever, <clears throat> like the first degree is one of the most important degrees in my book. When the person comes in, the first time he sees masonry, you need to have your stuff together. You need to know what every officer needs to do what they need to do. That way he gets an impression, good impression of masonry. I'd like to see a lot more members. And I have to say I'm guilty of not being here like I should be, but the lodge on degrees and meetings needs to be full.